How's it going everybody? This is Mike here with another video. This is actually a video response to Blade Rambles, um, or Blade Ramble, sorry. Uh, really, really cool guy, uh, nice YouTuber, and he asked us some stuff that we would like to see, and I actually requested a tutorial on a box not lanyard, and he got it up the very same day, which is really, really cool and he wanted to finish it off with some beads and he said that there was really no easy trick of doing this so uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do a video response with an easy way of doing the uh, the beads so here's the lanyard that I made a few days ago and uh, it's a barrel not lanyard this is non, -fi non gutted but uh, it is 550 cord um, and this is the bead that I'm going to be using. Now this bead has a really, really big uh, opening, so it would be very easy to just slide it on there. But this method works whether it's a big bead, a small bead, um, or uh, pretty much, you know, gutted 550 cord or, or uh, non-gutted 550 cord. Come on, focus. What are you doing? There you go. So he mentioned that he liked to use gutted 550 cord, which is awesome because you're going to kind of need that. Um, this is some of the gutted 550 cord. This is one of the seven strands that you get in 550. And uh, this is how you're going to do it. So first thing that you're going to do is I'm going to try to do this in the viewfinder. Come on, focus up close. Thank you. Is you are going to run that strand through very easily because uh, it's a small little strand then you're going to run it through the loop of the lanyard and then run it back through the bead and after you got it at this point just pull this just pull these cords and I'll pop that right through every time so sometimes it'll be a little bit harder you know if the bead is small but that is pretty much the gist of it and I hope uh, I hope you guys found that um, informative, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.